Uh, Maddie's show is on MSNBC on Sunday nights, and then uh, Eamon Molinari's uh, is um, after it. And so they hand over, and they were talking uh, about the move at that time. The vote had not happened to censure um, to censure uh, Rashid Talib, and they play this clip from uh, what's this guy's name? Mass? What is it? Brian Mass, who uh, cosplayed as an IDF uh, soldier. Um, apparently, there he was there on a two-month, like uh, you know, summer internship, and uh, so he wore his uh, uniform to uh, to work one day. Um, it's we're fine. I mean, my kid has a PJ day at school, so I understand the dynamic. Uh, but this guy got on the floor, and uh, I'll let Manny Hassan take it from here. I mean, before I go, uh, I just want to talk to you about something that's really been bothering me. I know it's been bothering you, too. If you look at the numbers, the Palestinian health ministry, the Gaza health ministry, says that a child in Gaza has been killed every 10 minutes since the start of this conflict. That's the equivalent of six kids killed since I began the show tonight. And yet we have right wing politicians in the United States, forget Israel, suggesting that kids in gaza women and children are not innocent civilians they're nazis not my words republican congressman brian mast speaking in the house have a listen i would encourage the other side to not so lightly throw around the idea of innocent palestinian civilians as is frequently said uh, i don't think we would so lightly throw around the term innocent nazi civilians during world war ii Eamon, you and I have discussed outrageous statements made by Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert on this show. In right, this let, let, let's just, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's started uh, by that point, you know, the uh, idea of uh, censoring uh, Rashid Tlaib was out there. Um, just to be clear, like the proper analogy would be innocent German civilians. But here this guy is basically saying they're all enemy combatants, all 2.4 million Palestinians in Gaza. In fact, I guess he's also including the West Bank. And um, that's pretty offensive to a thing to say. Um, I mean, to a whole host of people, but of course, to Palestinians. But I mean, it's a pretty offensive thing to say, I don't know, to Germans. Uh, it is a pretty offensive thing to say to, um, I mean, anybody who's ever been like, the implication being like, you know, was Osama bin Laden, were we all enemy combatants when uh, Al Qaeda hit us? I mean, honestly, it's, it's just like, it's if Hamas said any, everybody at that concert is a Zionist. So there you go. Who exactly? Who? Who's not an enemy combatant? Like, what's the concept of civilians? If, um, if you make that, uh, no, it's like, 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 honestly, like, is there, why, why do we even talk about civilians at that point? And that just passes where, the news media is more or less like, eh, he's a Republican, so it's not okay, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, Democrats should have been clamoring for some type of censure. Like, even if you are adamantly pro-Israel, can you really... Can you really say that um, citizens of a country that are at war are civilians that are, are, are okay targets? You can't. But Democrats did nothing. However, they did do this. They, um, they voted to censure Rashida Tlaib. We should say that it was all the Republicans. I think there was a couple that did not. Um, Ken Buck uh, did not uh, censure. Um, 
Talib, there was three other Republicans who did not as well. Yeah, it was Ken Buck of Colorado, Thomas Massey of Kentucky, John Duarte of California, and Tom McClintock of California. And then we had 22 Democrats who did. I am not familiar with all of these, so I don't know where they're all coming from. Steve Cohen from Mississippi, that is a real shame. Tennessee, uh, Tennessee sorry. Uh, that is a real shame. Oh, here we go. We've got a good list here. Um, Jim Costa from California. Angie Craig from Minnesota, Don Davis from North Carolina, Lois Frankel from Florida, Jared Golden from Maine, Dan Goldman from New York. He got a lot of money from APAC. I would imagine all of these did. And if I, um, a lot if, of these, if uh, I have defamed you as a congressperson by saying you didn't get a bunch of money from APAC, then um, let me uh, further defame you by saying, um, it's not even cowardice that's driving you to do this. Just sheer blood loss. I think Justice Democrats had a uh, image up, and uh, they've all taken, I think, over uh, uh, like twenty thousand um, dollars, okay. basically. Um, actually, Goldman uh, on the lower end of a lot of these guys. Right, because he's self-funding. Right. Uh, Josh Geinheimer, just an odious person. This is who said just... all Muslims uh, should feel guilty uh, about October seventh. Greg Landsman, Ohio, Susie Lee, Nevada, Kathy Manning, North Carolina, Jared Moskowitz, Florida, Wiley Nickel, North Carolina, Chris Pappas, New Hampshire, Marie Glusen, Camp Perez in Washington, mm -hmm. Pat Ryan in New York. That's a real disappointment to me. Uh, I'm familiar with that guy, and he, in many other um, uh, issues, he is on the right side of this. This, this would not... Uh, uh, it's hard for me to believe that regardless of how tough of an election or something that he thinks he's facing, that he would pay that much of a political price. It's all donor stuff. Yes. And it really just gives me an insight as to, you know, where maybe some of his donor base is, um, which is, again, really uh, disappointing. Uh Brad Schneider, Illinois, Kim Schreier, Washington, Darren Soto, Florida, Richie Torres, New York, who's been absolutely r repugnant on all of this. Desi, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who's generally repugnant on things, and Frederica Wilson in Florida as well. Um, here are the APAC donations for the 22 Yes Democrats. Uh, well, I should have read that read this off at the same time, frankly. Wilson Frederica, thirty-five thousand dollars. Richie Torres, whoa. <laughs> well, well, that explains a lot. I mean, a third of a million dollars. <laughs> um, three hundred forty-two thousand. Darren Soto, seventy-six thousand. Kim Schreier, one hundred and sixty-seven thousand from APAC. Brad Schneider, Illinois, 1.156 million Jeez. from APAC. Um, I mean, on some level, don't you have Do to they get think rid they need of to give like, Godheimer? Don't you really need to get? Don't you just get rid of the Illinois thing and just put in APAC? Yeah. I mean, Gottheimer, do they really need to give him $1.16 million? I think he probably would have been happy with half of that. Uh, Pat Ryan, 70000 I imagine that goes a long way up in District 18 mm. in, uh, in New York. Chris Pappas from New Hampshire, 234000 Wiley Nickel, oh, they, they come cheap down in North Carolina. That's eighteen grand uh, from APAC. Jared Moskowitz, 42000 Kathy Manning, $557,000 in North Carolina. Uh, Susie Lee in Nevada, $115,000. Greg Landsman, Ohio, just a mere $36,000. Josh Gottheimer, bringing in the big bucks, $1.16 million I mean, from you APAC. Can, that's like a whole staff. <laughs> like you can pay Dan Goldman 51,000 bucks that's chump change for him but of course he's self uh, funded I'm sure he'll get more next time uh, Jared Golden well you know what it is with a guy like Goldman it is he doesn't need the money he's basically ensuring that if someone from the left challenges him in a year that APAC will deploy 
money against the other person. I mean, let's let's be clear. That's you know sort of the dynamic here. It's one thing to put up how much money they're getting. Jared Golden, three hundred two thousand uh, dollars. Lois Frankel, three hundred thirty six. Don Davis, two ninety. Craig and Angie Craig, one hundred sixty nine thousand. Jim Costa, two hundred sixty thousand. Steve Cohen, ninety five thousand. It's one thing to put up the list of money they're getting from APAC. But what they're also signaling to you is they're worried about a challenge from the left. And not all of them, but probably most of them. They're worried about a challenge from the left. They're worried maybe uh, that a person of color will uh, challenge them from the left. And it's, it's always maybe about the money they get. But what's really, really important to them, and this is what this, you know, the money they get is a signifier, but the real money they want is they want to know um, that that APAC in the event and DMF, uh, DF, uh, DMFI, right? DMFI will, in the event that they're challenged from the left, will deploy millions of dollars in their defense with outside expenditures. That's what's really going on. That's what's really going on. It, it's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. They tried to do this with um, Ilhan Omar. And they stepped all over their big uh, bill to do it. But this is the nature of always. And it depends on the, uh, on the issue. The Democratic Party is not as homogenous as the Republican Party, which is why, you know, it's a problem. We should go out and primary these people. We should primary them, but regardless of this. Most of those people I would primary. There's a lot that didn't make and, that list that need to be primaried yeah, on the yeah. same issue. And, and, um, and, and frankly, you know, um, there's some that I, I wouldn't have primaried in, in the absence of, although I, you know, I feel like everybody should be primary, uh, frankly. Um, but this is the reality of the Democratic Party. And when you when you talk about strategy or anything like that, you've got to recognize this is the reality. The other option is you got 220 people on the other side who want to censure to live. This is, this is the reality of American politics. We don't have a parliamentary system. If we did, th those 22, or maybe it would be another 50, would be in some other caucus, some other party that would in a, be in a unity government with, uh, you know, the Democrats and then maybe the, you know, I don't know, the Democratic Socialists. Who knows? But that's not the system we have. But... Yeah, these people are horrible. Worth giving them a call. I'm not in Pat Ryan's district anymore. I was for like 10 minutes up at the 19th, right, where I vote. But I'll get somebody to call.